It is negative 12 degrees, so we're gonna try elephant toothpaste in the extreme cold. So for try number one, I used a smaller mix of hydrogen peroxide, soap, and food coloring, mixed with potassium iodide and warm water. Because I'm using 35% hydrogen peroxide, I made sure to wear goggles and gloves. As you can see, it was less than spectacular. Oh man. For try number two, I used yeast with warm water as the catalyst instead of potassium iodide. It's frozen. We gotta clean up from experiment one. Less explosive, but a little more fun. These instructions are below. Try number three was two yeast catalysts by my kids Zek and Alason, with a larger potassium iodide catalyst by me. All right, let's head back out to the cold. Solution here. Go. Ready? Uh, no. Still not too impressive. Again, not what I was hoping for. By try number four, I had figured out the right proportions and an easy way to calculate them. If you have a thousand milliliter Erlenmeyer flask, divide that by four and use about 250 milliliters of 35% hydrogen peroxide. Divide that by four and start with a little over 60 milliliters of very hot water to dissolve the potassium iodide. Add soap and lots of food coloring to the hydrogen peroxide in the flask. Take your hot water and continue to add potassium iodide until the water is fully saturated and won't dissolve any more crystals. This took about 80 grams of this 100 gram bottle when I did it. All right, fresh coat of snow. Give it another try. This reaction was much more what I was expecting in the cold. The instructions for this one are below as well. It worked. For number five, I would not recommend trying this because it was too dangerous. I started by heating up the hydrogen peroxide solution inside the house. If it gets too hot though, it breaks down when boiling and also makes a huge mess. Instead, I brought it outside to heat up along with the preheated potassium iodide mix. Watch what happens next. All right, now we're gonna try the last one with them both heated up. Make sure to subscribe and watch more Minnesota Cold and how-to videos of ours.